Uh, Charlie, so obviously it was a that was a tough one tonight against a team that on paper probably uh, you know it was kind of surprising that they hung in there like they did. What were uh, some of the reasons that made it as as tough as it was? Uh, I think we didn't execute as well on our zone defense this game. Uh, we also got beat in some man to man situations. Uh, just tough with those ball screens and. Uh, we just needed to start hedging and we started doing it. We got some key stops down the stretch, but uh, they play well. They play really good. Give credit to that team. Uh, they play hard. And luckily, we came out with a W. Um, it, it seems like so far this year, and it's not maybe understandable, <clears throat> but that the offense, it just seems like the thing, you're, you're having to work awfully hard for your baskets, maybe more so than than you would expect. Is that something that you've picked up on so far? Oh, yes, definitely. I, I've noticed every team we've played against so far has been keying in on me and Louie because they know we're such, we're offensive threats for this team. and uh, We just got to keep working. If we get that ball moving and get the screen away, I, I think we can start to play better. Alan, they uh, had some nice advantages on rebounding, especially offensive rebounds. Um, how tough was that to kind of control them? They had some nice length there to, to control the those uh, rebounds. That, that, I think that wasn't that tough to uh, control the rebound. We just have to uh, know know where the man is at and just box him out and go get the rebound. Because, I mean, we are pretty athletic team. I mean, just me and Charlie, we can not get like a lot of rebounds, like almost like post and stuff, because of our athleticism. So we just need to be stay focused and. Uh, just know where the men is at and just go for the ball because there is no way they can go over it and grab the rebound. I mean, the team we've played so far, I don't think I've seen, I don't know about you, but I don't think I've seen two guys more athletic than us. So, um, you know, we just have to focus and, you know, get better. Charlie, what's the uh, mood about the upcoming Summit League season? I mean, you got to be excited. It's been something that the whole team has kind of been aiming for for two years now. Um, could you explain just uh, how that, how your team is looking forward to that first game? Uh, we're definitely looking forward to the competition. Um, our first game is against Oakland, I believe, and uh, we're just ready. And uh, tomorrow we got practice, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna go pretty hard and uh, prepare for that game. But we're excited for it. We think we'll do better than people got us picked. But uh, we're excited. We're ready to play and prove people wrong. Uh, at, as you go into that game, looking at uh, the season so so far to date, what are some things that you know you have to work on if you want to be a competitive team in that league? Definitely rebound. Uh, that's the first first key to to winning some good games in that league. Uh, rebound and defend. If we can guard, I think our offense will eventually come. Uh, me and Louie will get it going. Allen, these guys, our guys come off the bench. I know offensively, we're not worried about that. We know we can come around offensively. We want to work on that defensive end. It's the, that's the main part of winning games, the defensive end. And uh, if we can come around on that part, we'll be fine. Um, Allen, uh, so far, there have been some games where we've played quite a bit, um, some not so much. Uh, are you starting to evolve into what you know your role is supposed to be on the team? Yeah, I just I just need to get there and uh, you know play as hard as I can for you know either 15, 20, or five minutes. You know I need to uh, just go and do my best and uh, you know trying to help the team win. Either if it's go get a rebound, get black shot, or score, make free throws, screen away. I, I just go and do it. You know, that's a that's a new team. We have a lot of new guys. We just have to figure out how to play together and stuff. I know we can't be really good, so, you know, sometimes that happens. We should beat that team, but, you know, we should just destroy them. But, you know, sometimes that happens, but I, I feel pretty com confident about this season. And I know we're going we to be good. I'll toss this last one up there. Uh, Charlie and Alan, both of you guys, um, you've only been in the program for a little bit now, but, you know, being a part of Dave Boots' 600th win, what do you guys think about that? It's special for me. Uh, he gave me the opportunity to play here, and uh, I'm glad I can help, help him get the 600 wins. It's a 
good guy, great coach. Love playing for him, and hopefully get this thing going. You get to 620 something wins by the end of the season. So uh, I, I'm excited for him. Good win tonight. I'm glad we came out with a W. That's a big thing to be part of that. That's that's not usual. <laughs> Play very well in the offense for them again tonight. The struggle is still continuing for us. And, you know, a horrible night shooting at the three and a horrible night at the free throw. Leaving a lot of points out there. And kids are playing hard. You know, I, you know, we're putting so much pressure on our defense because we just don't come through on that offensive end. And we've got some guys that we're really counting on that need to, to play better on that end of it. And, and they can, and I expect that they will as we move on with this. But uh, not, not a good performance tonight all the way through with the coaching and playing uh, just has to be a lot better for us to go we'll and start playing the people we're going to be playing from here on out. Questions? Uh, is there some, are there symptoms or are there, are there causes maybe of, of the shooting issues or is it just, they're just not hitting? I thought we have we had good looks, you know, we, we are, we're not making shots. And inside or out. When we came off our Wyoming game, we missed 9 out of 20 layups. We were 11 for 20 on layups against them. Uh, you know, we're getting shots. Our offense is ex executing to get the kids that we want shooting the basketball and getting it where we need to get it. And, you know, we're, not, we're just not making shots right now. And if that continues, it's, it's tough to defend to the point where you can stay in the game. And, and that's all we're doing right now. We're defending enough to keep us in games, but you've got to have a lot better offense than what we have right now to win. Um, as far as what anything they did tonight, what were some things they did well? I mean, they gave well, it, I game. thought we had some guys really play well defensively, and we had uh, some that didn't get it done. But Allen came off the bench. I thought gave us a spark on, on both ends. He was active on the on the defensive boards and. Active defending, and he blocked some a couple of shots, and I just thought his presence was something that we really needed in there. And, you know, we lost Ricky, and you know I don't know how long if it's a season-ending type deal, but we're going to be without him for this week weekend games. And he's our best post defender, most active kid, uh, you know, and a really good defense rebound. And, and we missed missed him and out from those elements tonight, and that, that puts a lot of pressure on those other post kids to try to get it done. And, hoping that he's going to be able to recover from it, but it looks like a serious injury right now. Coach, when you look at getting ready for the Summit League, um, what do you think in terms of the competition you're going to be facing, you know, a, a step up in competition-wise? Well, I'm sure it's going to be like the three that we played, you know, Nebraska, Wyoming, and Eastern Washington. You're going to play to that level of teams or talent and good athletes and size in the post and kids who can really shoot it. So. If we can't defend them, it's really going to be an issue because we're not at the point not right now that we can score enough to let you win games. And so we got a lot of improvement that has to be made and stay the course, keep working at it. Uh, hopefully we'll get Ricky back after this week and it won't be a season any type deal for him. Good guys stepping up, but it's going to be a challenge in that, that league, there's no question. We're new at this, uh, going into learning about all those teams and stuff, and continue the transition, you know, increasing talent and developing the current kids more and more. Uh, I guess, I mean, no team would ever be looking forward to going to Oakland, but are you looking forward to finally getting this rolling, getting the Summit League era started? Yeah, we want to get it started and, you know, and learn quickly. And, and our kids need to be competitive. They, they need to get in here and compete in that league right now. This is an important year for us and not one that I, I want to just get through because we're not eligible at the end or anything. We need to have guys that can, that can show us that we are competitive in that league. We have guys that can play in that league and perform night in and night out to get some consistency going on that. So yeah, we're excited to get it started. And You know, we're on the road for the next two weeks and you know, we haven't had a lot of rhythm going on that road. It's always hard to go on the road and play, and, and especially when you're going to play, you know, that, that level of a team. So uh, when you're 
just leaving uh, Augsburg? Did you think you were going to get to 600? We fit a lot of really, really good players. And I think if you keep doing it as long as we've done it here, it's you, know, you better have a lot of good players because they're, they're the ones that let you win the games and they get out and perform. And we've been blessed with that. We've had an enormous number of really good assistant coaches. And the most pleasing part of that is they're our guys. Most of those guys have played here and have stayed on and become coaches for us. So. That, that's one of the most special things I have with this, but President Abbott and you know, the number of ADs that we've had here are, you know, are key people to let us be successful. They, they made it important that we have a good program. And, you know, it's, uh, this is a place I've always, this is exactly where I've always wanted to be. You know, this, is, this is a great place to coach. USD is a special place to us. And we appreciate everything that everyone's done to us. And, for us and help us and hopefully we can play better than we're playing right now. <laughs>